I watched uh, Vertigo last night for the first time in quite a while. I think the first time I watched Vertigo, I really probably didn't even, like, care. It's one of Hitchcock's greatest movies. And, stuff, and it is just an amazing movie. People, I think people that criticize it, uh, criticize the story. They're like, oh, it's like an inconceivable story. It's too far-fetched. It's like, what? First of all, even if it is, the story isn't even the main part. The, the, Hitchcock came up with a whole new way to fucking make movies. And it's in that movie. You watch that one and go, oh, that's how it's done. Every director just went, oh, Vertigo, okay, that's how you do this movie-making thing. Everything else was kind of, uh, you know, the black and white movies, well, doll, and then it's like, okay, two people leave office, and, and then you just have the camera on people leaving the office. Like, it was very, you know, kink, kink, black and white guy, fedora, the woman, and it's like, oh, I got to get in the car. Okay, get in the car. And they just film what happened. Like Hitchcock, it, everything he did was artistic. It wasn't just a guy getting into a car. That meant something. And, and, and the scenery meant something. And, and, and how someone was positioned in frame meant something. Brilliant shit. So I, I'm watching it. And then, of course, the movie gets done. And I have to watch other things about the movie. So I'm watching directors talk about Vertigo. Uh, and and all of them are just saying how amazing this this was and groundbreaking at the time. It didn't get great reviews when it first came out because people weren't used to that type of cinema yet. You know, they they were kind of like they liked a mystery like that, but they liked it in black and white and having those camera angles that they are all familiar with. Uh, this had some freaky stuff in it. It wasn't what they were used to seeing, and. Then they brought up, they said, Vertigo was Hitchcock's kind of in, in between from the old fashioned cinema to the new thing that was called American, uh, what is it called? New Wave. American New Wave movie making. And what they describe American New Wave movie making is exactly what we were talking about yesterday. This whole thing that happened in the 60s where the lead characters died horrific deaths. It was more about the shots and the director putting his image on it than just recording the scenes that needed to fit the script. You know, because you could read a script and then go, all right, um, these people are talking at a bar. All right. We got to do the hassle of filming them at the bar because that's what's in the script. That's the utilitarian part where people, it's a movie, they got to see something. So here they are at the bar and here's their words. And But then they figured out, no, we could do things the way we move the camera, how they sit at the bar, uh, who's around them, the color of the fucking wallpaper. Like all of that was then taken into consideration in these newer genre movies. But Vertigo was one of the first ones that started getting into that and, and the average moviegoer wasn't very hip to it. They didn't like it. It wasn't, this is not what I'm used to, is kind of what, you know, the consensus was. So then uh, the the um, movies like we were talking about yesterday, where your lead character dies, Bonnie and Clyde, and uh, um, what the fuck else did we have yesterday? Oh, that, that other one with the guy in the car, and uh, Crazy Mary, Dirty Larry. Uh, yeah, all the, all those movies. And then people start bringing up other ones that I completely forgot about. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Your two main characters beloved in the movie. Two of the, first of all, they were like considered the most handsome actors in Hollywood. Uh, Paul Newman and, uh, the other guy. <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, they're handsome guys. And they die at the end. You follow them this whole thing, you're rooting for them, and, and they fucking uh, get shot up by the Bolivian army at the end. You don't see it. They're, they're, they're kind of, yeah, here's the end. You hear it. You just know that would be like the Bonnie and Clyde thing. You just fucking see both of them doing this and blood and fucking ah, slow motion. Ah. 
by the way, roll credits. That was it. And you're just fucking completely depressed uh, leaving the theater. <laughs> uh, there was another one somebody brought up. Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise was in the <laughs> 80s, right? 80s, 90s? Maybe 90s. Maybe 90s. And that, I think, was, I think they purposefully wanted to hearken back to that whole genre. That fucking American new wave of, of killing the main characters in horrific fashion. And that's the way the movie ends. Oh, uh, one of the big ones that was, it's just so well known, was Easy Rider. Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper. Uh, again, two of these guys, they're outlaws. They're not the nicest guys, but they're charismatic. They're handsome. They're rugged. And uh, they're bikers. And they have this adventure during the whole movie for a couple hours. You get to know them. You like them in this weird, you know, criminal way. And then it they fucking die. Oh, you didn't get the... Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, the truck guy, they, they drive next to the, the truck guy. It's a famous... Actually, it became a famous poster and everything. Uh, they say something about their hair. I think the truck guy goes, you know, long can get your hair cut hippie or something. And then they flip them off. And that's like a great poster, a, you know, a big uh, iconic scene. And they flip him the bird. And then the guy's like, oh, really? How about I just blow you both to shit with the shotgun? And he kills him. And earlier in the movie, um, um, who the hell uh, is it? Uh, gets beaten with a baseball bat, beaten to death. Peter Fonda? Uh, no, no. Peter Fonda gets killed, I think, at the end there also. Oh. I think he's the guy that, uh, yeah, eh, whatever. Mm. Oh, it's Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson gets fucking beaten to death in that one. But, you know, but those were the movies. Those were like, you, you, you'd leave the theater uh, ready to cry. <laughs> just so depressed. Uh, and that went on for just years and years and years. They had these movies uh, like that. And then they just finally started getting fun again.